Hi everybody, this is Gerdy van Woerd at daregreatlycoaching.com and I just wanted to share what can happen when things don't go according to plan at all. So what I do every night is take my bullet journal and look back on the day before, the day that just finished, but most and more importantly I also look ahead to the day that's coming up which is what I did yesterday. So I scheduled my day and I had a pretty clear idea of what was going to happen today and what I needed to do and which appointments I needed to keep. So I thought I was clear on what I needed to do. I was going to uh, edit some videos for the upcoming um, Live Your Own Life 5 Day Challenge. I was going to write a, a kick-ass new newsletter and um, do a Facebook Live. The only thing so far that has happened is I'm doing a Facebook Live. And not even about the subject I thought I was going to write about, uh, to talk about. But, so what happened? So this morning, for some reason, I thought I'd better check, double check my calendar. And I saw that I had a hairdresser's appointment. Now, I love to go to the hairdresser. It's one of the treats I give myself. It's one of the last things I'll ever throw out because... I don't know, there's just something about lying in that chair and having your hair washed for you and get a head massage and everything. You know, it's, it feels like luxury to me. So I love that. My new hairdo for those um, who've seen my previous videos. As I'm lying in this chair, my head full of, um, you know, shampoo and everything and the hairdresser is giving me this wonderful head massage. The phone rings. Now, usually I turn my phone off, but I forgot, so the phone rings. And usually I don't answer, but for some reason I did. Uh, I did this time around, because I don't like, you know, answering telephone calls when, uh, you know, somebody is, when I'm talking to somebody or when I'm, somebody is doing things for me. So, I answered. And as you may or may not know, uh, I also take care of other people's holiday properties. I do property management. And there's guests staying at different properties at the moment. So it's one of those guests. And he's telling me, if I'm understanding him correctly, that the ba downstairs bathroom has flooded and the flooding has spilled over into the adjacent bedroom. And that's where my carefully planned day just went out of the window. I spent, um, well, I let the hairdresser finish, but then I spent the next, oh, I don't know, nine to almost two hours mopping up a lot of water, trying to figure out where the water was coming from, and I'll spare you the details, because they're not pretty. But I figured it out, called the plumber, did everything else, and all this without breakfast, because I hadn't really co counted on having to go to the hairdresser. So, that carefully laid out plan that I made yesterday, yesterday evening, pretty much went out of the window at 7, I don't know, 7.15 this morning, after I did my morning pages. Uh, because... Um, that's when I found out that in an hour's time I had to be at the hairdressers and I still had to walk my dog and everything. So, and it takes me half an hour to get to the hairdressers. So I had about half an hour to do all that. Hang on, see. I still had to walk this boy. And this boy is seeing something very interesting. So in any case, so that's what happened. I 7.15, 7.18, something like that, my plan went out of the window and it never <laughs> came back. It is now almost 4 p.m. I had breakfast about an hour ago, a little longer. The same guest called that they couldn't get back into the house, so I had to go back there. And um, the only thing that's happened that ha actually was on my calendar so far is this, this Facebook Live. So why am I sharing this whole story with you? It's not about the hairdresser or the, the, the flooding that happened. And, uh, but it's about plans that we sometimes have and they, you know, 
life happens, things happen, stuff happen, and it causes us to go off track, to go off plan, and sometimes so much so that we don't get back on the track that we were on. Or maybe we do and it just takes a little while because all those things that I had scheduled to do, I guess I'll just move them to tomorrow and in part to the weekend because tomorrow I have other things planned as well and those things I need to do. So in any case, sometimes the most beautiful laid out plans go astray, fly out of the window, just don't happen. And sometimes it happens with life as well. Sometimes we have this plan for ourselves for life and it doesn't work out, not immediately. We start working towards the life we want to live and it doesn't immediately uh, materialize. I should know why a dream life uh, hasn't Im didn't immediately materialize. I'm still working on it, I'm close but I'm still working on it. And that's fine, sometimes you have to take a detour. It's like going into the mountains and coming on a rock slide or something, and that blocks the, the trail. Sometimes that happens and you can then either go back or, you know, have a seat, take out the map, see what else, what other possibilities there are. And sometimes, when you take the time, breathe, take the time to take in the situation, you will find there are other possibilities to get to where you want to be going. So maybe you can climb over this rock slide. Maybe your plan for some reason has flown out of the window and all you need to do is ask for help or do something a little bit differently or take another trek. And definitely, don't let your day be ruined. My day has been a good day. I started out with a wonderful visit with the hairdressers. It wasn't so nice having to mop up all that dirty water, but it's been mopped up. The plumber has been, the blockage has been taken care of. The guests are happy again. I'm sitting on the bench enjoying the view. Just ignore, look at this, just ignore the power lines and look at everything else. There's a chopper going over, maybe you can hear it. Temperature's quite nice. Life is good. So if you have a plan for your ideal life and it's not working out exactly as you had thought it would, don't let it throw you off. Regroup look at your plan, maybe reschedule things a little bit, maybe move things around a little bit, maybe change some of the things in there and then get going again. And if you don't know quite yet what your dream life is or what, what the life you want looks like, um, or if you do but you have no idea how to get there, maybe it's a good idea for you to join the li Live Your Own Life five-day challenge that will start on September 18th. So that's not, that's Monday in two weeks. I'll put a link to that in the comment section uh, below, but um, you know, maybe that's an idea if you want some help figuring out A, what it is you want to do, how you, how you want to live your life, and B, how you can get there. So that's the message for today. Don't let a plan that flies out of the window stop you from enjoying life, from taking a pause, taking a breath, and regroup and maybe make a new plan or change the old one a little bit. But keep going, keep moving forward, keep doing the things that you need to be doing to live the life you want to live. Okay guys, as always, Go there greatly. Have a good one. Bye-bye.